the 23 Pilot resets the bar for this class of vehicle. At its core, it's a three-row family SUV, and we're delivering the kind of features and performance that our customers have come to expect. But now, we're adding true capability for that off-road performance adventure. At Honda, we've been developing light trucks right here in America for over 20 years, and the Pilot has gone through three previous generations. And based on its architecture and powertrain, its performance has been much more capable than many people have thought. Building upon that with the Trail Sport, we've gone out and we've really considered what are all the things that you really need to go off-road and have a great adventure. But this is the ultimate family SUV, and so we couldn't forget that this thing needs to be great on-road as well as off-road. As we all know, auto development is loaded with trade-offs. The ground rules is to get to the trail in the most comfortable three-row SUV possible. Our team proposed clever engineering solutions, delivering the on-road performance that I was demanding, as well as the off-road capability that they had been dreaming of. My goal for Trail Sport was really to build something that I wanted to own, and it was as simple as that. So I have a long history of off-roading, and being able to bring some of that passion into the pilot was really my ultimate goal. So when we put everything together, what we have delivered is a compilation of answers to the question, wouldn't it be great if we did this? Or wouldn't it be great if we did that? And this trail sport is the answer. When we started out with this project, we went out to explore some trails and our available modes didn't really match the scenery that we saw. It wasn't mud and it wasn't sand. So we thought we need something that really matches the scene and we can pour all of our capability and change all the vehicle settings to be perfect for this scene. So then the trail mode was born. So our internal rating system uh, was born out of the need to really quantify the target metrics that we needed to deliver the performance that we thought was necessary for the trail sport customer. In the end, what we have is a feature set for this vehicle uh, that considers more aspects of off-roading than ever before. The Honda Pilot Trail Sport was developed to perform exceptionally well in most of the terrains across the United States. These terrains include mud, include rock, sleek rock, sand, V ditches. One of the key features of the, the Pilot Trail Sport is the incorporation of the steel skid plates that you can find, find in the front and an, under the fuel tank. So we went about developing a completely new requirement to ensure that the skid plate can withstand the weight of the vehicle. We took a more holistic view of when we tried developing the skid plates. Strength was an important element for the skid plate because that was the core functionality. But we also had to look at all the other uh, impacts by incorporating a skid plate. So we had to keep in mind crashworthiness, we had to keep in mind serviceability, we had to keep in mind aerodynamics, and we had to also keep in mind aspects like corrosion. So to do this, we made sure that the material we pick, the bolt size we pick, do not impact crashworthiness. We added air vents onto the skid plates to ensure that it doesn't impact heat resistance and aerodynamics. So the durability team incorporated the requirements from power sports and adjusted it for automotive to ensure no damage would occur from debris such as gravel, sand, tall grass, and mud. One of the most satisfying moments as an engineer is as part of our development, we had to take the pilot trail sport out in the real world to evaluate the performance of the skid plates. And we went to terrains which are rated as difficult. And throughout these terrains, such as uh, Fins and Things, or Hell's Revenge in Moab, or the Broken Arrow Trail in Sedona, we came out of those trails with just contact marks on the skid plate no damage at all. We literally beat up the vehicle by driving it on very difficult trails. And our biggest question was, how is it going to perform once we come back on-road and off-road? It performed as it's expected to perform. Good on-road, good off-road. Part of our protection package that we are emphasizing on the, the pilot trail sport is the incorporation of both the front and the rear recovery hooks. So on the front, we have incorporated a recovery hook right on the front skid plate. And to evaluate the performance of that, we ensured that the recovery hook can pull up to two times the GVWR of the vehicle.
When you're out there on the trail, often you'll find these things called bee ditches. And what a bee ditch is, is basically where the water has cut through the trail and formed this diagonal fashion. And when that ditch gets deep enough, when you're crossing it, you can lose traction uh, with two of the opposing tires. That situation is, is quite challenging for all off-road vehicles. So with our trail sport, we really worked, worked hard to address that particular obstacle and optimize the systems to address that to where our trail sport will cross over those V-ditches with significantly greater ease. So our solution for that is what we call trail logic. It's an exclusive logic that's only available on trail sport. And what it does is it transfers up to 75% of the available rear diff torque to the tractive tire in that moment, allowing the vehicle to continue its forward progress. But also with trail mode, we'll activate what our new trail watch camera system automatically when you enter into trail mode. What makes our trail watch system unique is how we've integrated it in with trail mode so you don't have to think about it. As soon as you tell the vehicle that you're entering a trail by putting it in trail mode, the camera system automatically activates. And one thing that we found is that the camera needs to stay on up to 15 miles per hour. What's really important and different from other systems is that our camera reactivates below that speed. It's seamless and you don't have to think about turning it on and off constantly throughout your drive. When we had finally got our vehicle put all the way together, and we returned down to a trail in Kentucky that we had really struggled with early on in development. And it became kind of one of our targets to overcome. We took our trail sport back to that trail. And we went on the same challenging area and our trail sport shined. It climbed up this obstacle where it really struggled in the past and it went up it with the greatest ease. And I just had the biggest smile on my face because all this work over all these years came to fruition and it was better than I could imagine. I think that's a unique characteristic for Honda. This power of dreams that we work towards, we were able to combine what Honda's known for, our great on-road dynamics, and at the same time, deliver true off-road performance without any compromise getting to the trailhead. That's the unique success for the Honda Pilot and Pilot Trail Sport.